There we go. All right, we're live on take two. Okay, <laughs> so well, let me, I'm gonna take just a minute to see if I can get back some of the folks I had earlier. I got a phone call <laughs> while, we were, while we were streaming. I was talking to my mom and and um, I will be asking folks earlier, hopefully Christy Betts will show back up, will let me know. <laughs> Because so, I think when I took the call, I thought that YouTube would stop recording at that moment and then um, and then not record my phone call with my mom and dad. So apparently, apparently that conversation may have gotten broadcast unknowingly, but I deleted that upload. And we didn't say anything embarrassing. Did not say anything embarrassing, so. But it was nice. Um, just waiting for somebody to show back up. Nobody just yet. Anyway, here's my scoop on the volcano. So what I had earlier that you're not seeing right now was that I had um, my Volcano 2 set up here with the propane attachment. Now I've had this thing for 10 years and I have never gotten it out to do anything with it until today. It's maybe been maybe eight to 10 years. So, what I, hello, hey, I see somebody showing up, is it, hey, how are you doing, Wormsleys? Good to see you. Good to see you. I'm talking about my Volcano 2 stove that I got. Um, so, I got this thing 10 years ago, set it up, never touched it until now. And I have to say, I'm not really a fan of it as far as the propane attachment goes. So, it just seems to be very cumbersome. You can buy a... <clears throat> you can buy a, oh goodness that reminds me I've got water on the stove in here part of my kitchen here y'all I just I'm tearing stuff all apart so look at there took moments for that to get going I'm just gonna cut it off I had um there we go so I had um gotten gotten this all set up I had seasoned my Dutch oven pot I, I wanted to get this out and kind of get my my Dutch oven set up with it and I had it such that it was um, sitting right on the burner plate. So my Dutch oven was sitting on the burner plate, not with the grill. It's still, it's, it's kind of cooled off a lot now. But uh, sitting on that and uh, was just, it seemed to be doing pretty well. I mean, with that. But from the instruction manual, which is like reading the manual for the Starship Enterprise, there's just so much to it is that it's still warm there but i wasn't sure if you could sit the dutch oven it does the dutch oven does have legs right on the burner plate so i couldn't tell if you could do that or not and the manual does show that if you're boiling water or such you do put the grill down like this and you put your um, pan for pan frying you do set it on top of this uh if i was also further disappointed I know, I know. I went to the Ferengi Business Academy instead, though. So the, I didn't go to Starfleet Academy. I went to the Ferengi School of Business. <laughs> I wish, actually. Because um, I got the ears for it, I think. But they have... Um, I, I was disappointed to learn that it takes a um, an attachment to use the one-pound propane bottle. So I'm like, fortunately, I had this thing ready to go. This is too much. So... My thoughts now with the with the Volcano 2 is that I'm going to try it next weekend. I'm going to do, I'm going to try it with um, charcoal because apparently it's extremely, extremely efficient with charcoal. I think it takes only about six briquettes in order to cook an entire meal. So six briquettes for an entire meal and, you know, which doesn't, which would mean easy to store i mean very easy to store fuel and i think even though it's briquettes i mean it really would not take a whole lot to clean that up i mean really efficient i do have to say this though that um it is extremely cool under here i mean it was burning with the propane attachment and this was cool i could put my hand under here no problem it was cool oh i got a little bit of um factory goo right there i gotta clean that up so a little bit of factory goo so I am not, so, so far, ah, you know what, maybe I'll do it this afternoon. I might just try it this afternoon and see what it does with the, um, I had to go back, read the manual and see what it'll do with the charcoal. But frankly, I think it's just going to be just as easy to, 
um, are just as feasible to um, just just as it is warm and beautiful and sunshiny. That's what the weather's like. All right, don't you wish? Don't you wish you were still in Florida? This is the time of year to be in Florida, man. I'm telling you. Oh, it's all about palm trees and salt. This is, you know, we've got our salt palmettos. I don't see any palm trees. From, oh, there's a palm tree way out there. Palm trees and salt palmettos. I, I do. Yes, I know. This is, this is the sweet spot of the Florida year. Hanging out outside. This is it. But in another maybe two months. Uh, Katie bar the door. No, it's gonna be miserable. Um, <clears throat> but I think my next, as far as propane goes, propane is easy to store. It's very efficient, but it kind of spooks me out a little bit. It does kind of spook me out a little bit. But what's nice is that when I bought this Joker, you know, when I bought this thing, I started storing one pound bottles of propane. So I've had these one pound bottles of propane for almost 10 years as well. They were out, um, they were out in that storage building out there, that green storage building for almost as long, if not inside my house. And I took one out and used it my little buddy heater that I just pulled out to use also in about 10 years time. No problems whatsoever. So it stores very long term. Uh, and it's, my goodness, and if they, you know, you think about this too, if they store bottles and bottles and bottles and bottles of it inside of Walmart, you know, on the shelves, I mean, there's no no problem there. I mean, I think there's no problem. At another work location, uh, back when I used to work at a, at a hotel, we had uh, an entire rack of propane tanks that we'd use for the outdoor heaters at one of our food and beverage locations. And I remember during the, the months when we weren't using it, I mean, they sat out there for months and months and months and months. No problem at all whatsoever. No problem at all. I mean, they those things rattle and shake. I mean, they're full on these trucks. Trucks transport them full. You know, so propane actually, it's like, it. if you're just very careful with it, and of course I here I am burning it around my, my chiminea outside too. My brand new, do you like my chiminea? It's brand new. So I got this last night. I got this last night at Publix. And it only cost me $15 after the gift card that my mom and dad gave me. Isn't that cute? That's pretty cool, huh? Little tiki face. It almost reminds me of Molek, <laughs> which is horrible to think. It's like, oh my goodness. It wasn't until after I got it home and I lit it, and I'm like going, oh my word, it looks like, looks like, looks like something that would be like Molek, you know, where they just put the arm stretch sharks, arms out. So, um, it's just ugly to think of, but that's what came to my mind. It didn't really ruin my experience, though, so maybe just a little bit. But I think as far as as what I'm going to be using, um, what I'm going to be using as far as propane goes, I think what I want to do is, um, <clears throat> yeah, they are built pretty tough. They are built pretty tough is of course I've got a burner on my grill outside right here too so there's a, a side burner on my grill which is great and also I may break down one day they're $243 but they're these it's I don't know where to put it so when I finally get a place to put this thing I'm, what I'm gonna get is one of those it's a two burner stove with an oven right underneath you know it's a, a chef camp chef and so I'll get a camp chef thing. Not great as far as transporting for, for camping, you know, the camp chef, ironically. Um, because some things I get are, you know, for longer term, like again, if, if things are a problem. And I'm counting on, one of the things I'm preparing for is that if there's a trucker strike, if gas prices go way up again and trucks stop running and we just can't get food in the grocery stores or again, hurricanes, you know, food shelves are wiped out and there's no power then um as i was recounting earlier you know i'll have a generator i can run the freezer for like an hour and keep things frozen up along with the big buckets of ice that's in there so um you know i'll have a way to store things so uh, and i'll be using some shelf stable stuff so i'm developing as much trance i'm converting as many recipes 
as I can to shelf stable varieties. Um, some of those are some of the living on a dam, living on a dam, living on a little, no, I'm not living on a dam. I'm living on a dry land, living on a dime <laughs> cookbook. So, <laughs> oh, you're going to go live later today. Oh my goodness. Living on a dam. That's just weird. Um, okay. I don't, just, uh, that's why I have, that's why I'm doing YouTube is to kind of help me do the talking thing. So YouTube has kind of helped me to, to, I used to be an actor. Can you believe that? I used to be an actor. I used to be, but now getting, getting to the point where I can talk is harder. <laughs> it's just really, really hard. Of course, even back then when I was an actor, it was hard too. And I had to, I had to go uh, very scripted. I like to, uh, didn't like the improv things. I liked scripted. And that's why I liked, I liked rehearsal. Over and over and over again, I liked rehearsal. And, um, but there were some times where I like my attention span would just, I would black out. This happened to me in college one time. I was doing a show there. All of a sudden I was kind of caught in the zone of the, of the play I was in and I dropped out. And I'm like, when I came back, I, I forgot where I was in the play. I forgot what my lines were next. And I had to, I just I had to start um, improvising at that point. And until I finally remembered where we were and I picked up back <laughs> to the point. So, <laughs> that was really tough, but maybe later today I'm gonna to try doing the propane. Um, I mean, sorry, doing the, the charcoal briquettes. I think I'm gonna try doing doing that. And as far as you've always wanted to be in a play, I, I've always I haven't done any legit theater. I've done some musical theater years ago. Like I said, I can't move anymore. But I would like to do a Shakespeare one day. Would like to. Have, would, would have liked. I don't know if I want to do that anymore. But again, my palate... Oh, there's a Model T going down the road. It's too... That's cool. Somebody's got a Model T car um, in the neighborhood. I don't know if that's something I really want to do anymore anyway. But who knows? I don't think people want to see old people on stage either. You know? I don't, yeah. There's video and TV. That's cool. That is cool. I don't, yeah, I don't think people want to see old people on stage. People just want to see young and young young people. So I'm, I'm hitting a, another mark. I'm hitting a milestone this year. I think 50 is going to kind of hit me a little bit hard. <laughs> That's coming up this October. So, <laughs> but we'll see. The, um, but like I said, I want to get one of those Camp Chef ovens. Uh, yeah, they do break a leg. <laughs> I wanna, yeah, I want to get one of those Camp Chef ovens. But again, I got to find a place to store it first. Uh, I think it'd be great and efficient as far as, you know, using it for propane. But we're gonna see as far as stovetop goes. Oh, well, apparently I can use this thing as an oven as well because I've got the, con I bought everything. I'm telling you, when I buy kits, when I buy things, I buy everything there is to go with it, or at least I try to. Um, I got this little convection hood over it. So it's like, a, it's still in the wrapper, everything. I'm telling you, I've not touched this thing in 10 years because I looked at the technical manual and I went, Ugh, this is just too much to even think about right now. And I kept waiting and putting off and putting off and putting off and finally, you know, finally today, you know, 2019. So here we are, February, February 17th, 2019, um, is when I finally got this thing out. Um, oh, the, you're saying American language is not easy. You know, the British language. Oh yeah. There are some differences between, yeah, major differences between British English and American English, aren't there? So I know I've watched a lot of BBC, a lot of it, and I'm enjoy a lot of BBC. I like, here's one thing about British television versus American television. And this is, now Britain has got some beautiful people. America's got some beautiful people. Britain's got some not so pretty people. America's got some, mm, yeah, American, America's got some not so pretty people. Britain is more interested in telling the story with the correct, with great characterization. Um, Whereas America is just more worried about having, you know, the optics, just having pretty people up there. America is very, um, I think it's a little bit more vain in its productions. You know, Great Britain, they'll have some very, I hate to say it, they'll have some unattractive people in these roles, but my God, the, but they fill the roles, they fill the characters, and it's truer to the story. Whereas, you know, in the U.S., we've got 
someone playing a grandmom who is 45 years old. You know, so, um, yeah, so it's got, it's just we tend to go more for the aesthetic in the U.S., whereas storytelling in Great Britain relies more on what character and what, um, you know, what character will fill the role. Ragu, but you've got an American wife, though, don't you? Don't you have an American wife? And so don't you, isn't she teaching you American vocabulary and things, things like that? To Actually, Raghub, here's the key to uh, speaking American. Just say, um, a lot, yeah, a lot, like, and for sure. Yeah, like, I, um, for sure, um, like, I don't know, yeah, like. And there you go, there you, you pretty much have American. At least American 20-year-old um, girl verbiage. Um, or 29-year-old um, New York um, representative speak there, Ocasio Cortez. Like, um, yeah, like, uh huh, like, yeah. So, <laughs> a little bit of political touch there. But anyway, gang, so actually, be on the lookout for a live stream from out of Goshen coming up later today, which I'm looking forward to. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> That's it, whatever. Whatever. But I'm even having to mature up my language a little bit too because. I was in, in the work, um, the work that I did years ago, again, entertainment work, it was like, it stunted me emotionally, no, stunted my emotional maturity for a long time. And so it's taken me years and years to work out of some of that emotional maturity that I still haven't exactly worked my way out of yet. So still having to work on that. So excellent. That sounds good. I, yes, out of Goshen. So I look forward to seeing your live broadcast. And Raghub, I hope you're doing well. And I know there's somebody else. We have a few others up there. I'm going to say thank you to everybody. If these ramblings were somewhat entertaining to you, or at least informative in any kind of way, shape, or form, just please hit like and subscribe. <laughs> just if at all. It's just me just blathering on a little bit. But I do like to talk about preparedness and being ready. And I'm now streamlining my plan on what I'm being ready for. Um, starting small working my way back out to a bigger picture maybe but right now three months and that's probably about all I'm preparing for so beyond three months you know up to the good Lord and maybe later one day I'll expand beyond that three months so but right now I'm ex you know preparing for three months of no power no no food trucks no no work all that kind of good stuff so but we'll work on getting things later then so everyone I hope you um, have a good afternoon and again, just a brief recap. So far, not really a fan of the propane. Gonna try doing this with charcoal later. And yeah, just this, just this is all just too much. Just too much, too much, too much, too much. I like it simple, 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 and keep it easy. All right, gang, have a good day. And I'll <laughs> for for ringy. Yes, <laughs> thanks. I'll see you later. See, bye. I'm ending. There we go.